Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my live streaming. Good morning, Chantel. I trust you are well this morning. Morning, Mickey. Morning, Sasanda. Oh, I've got a lighting problem here. Where is it? I'm here. <laughs> that should hold. Good morning. Morning, Nondotuko. Morning, Chantel. Morning, Alice. Morning, Nondo. Please like the stream as you come through and share with others. We are trying to spread the message, so press the thumbs up and share with others. Good morning, Ne. Morning, Mamukaba. Like and share. Good morning, Chantel Stiencup. Good morning, Bazalwane. I hope my light will hold. I'm not sure what's making it shake this morning. Good morning, Mamtanda. Press the thumbs up as you come on and share with others. If you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button. Good morning, Tozama. Good morning, Andy. Morning, Ellie. Morning, Lindo. 15 people are here. Only 10 have Click the thumbs. Can click the thumb. Morning, Merenelwe. Morning, Mamo Mieni. Morning, Songezo. Morning, Mamo Cindy. Mbele. Good morning, Mamo H. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. As you come, just press the thumbs up button. This is how you spread the message on YouTube when they see your stream uh, receiving likes or views. They circulate it. So as we join, just click the thumbs up. Uh, we are trusting God to increase uh, our channel. Um, yeah. But Father, we want to thank you this morning for this table of communion. Oh, I had an amazing dream today on the table of communion. Good morning. So Lord, we just want to thank you for this table of communion where it pauses time. This table is about freezing time and the effects of time and coming into the complete work of Jesus Christ, pausing the chaos and speaking life into death and speaking light in the darkness. This table causes us to come into a place of authority that we carry with the first blood of all creation. Remember, Bazalwane, that before the structure was put in place, the, before the infrastructure of the world was put in place, first there was the blood of the lamb. There was the blood of the lamb. So everything in the universe, the Bible tells us in Colossians that all things were created for him and by him. 
whether it is principalities and power. That, let's go there. I, it's Colossians 1. So in this dream, this lady was administering communion. And it was like I'm going around around this event, whatever it, it is, but I would be pinned right in front of her. I would go and observe the event, but something will just pull me to stand in front of her as she ministers communion. I've never met this lady in my dream. And she was ministering on the table of communion. And what I remember her saying is that this is a table where, where life is reconciled, where there is a reconciliation. And she said this, as she broke bread and she lifted the cup, she says, now heaven is with you. The whole of heaven is with you. Hallelujah. And I wanted, and in my, you know, when you want to cry, when, when someone does something and you can feel the, the warming of your heart, that your heart is getting so warm or your chest is getting warm and you are, you're just about to break into tears. But she kept on saying, now heaven is with you. Heaven, not just heaven, whole, the whole of heaven is with you. At the table of communion, we have a, a, a heaven at our disposal, Bazalwane. At the table of communion, we have eternity at our disposal. At the table of communion, we have the future that the Lord wants for us. At the table of communion, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. So we thank you, Father, that as we sit here, the all of heaven, the whole of heaven is here. All of heaven is with us to witness these moments. What would you say if you knew that heaven was with you, listening to you? What would you say? Would you continue to speak like you're speaking? Would you continue with the attitude that you have? Would you, will you, would you continue with the life that you live? If you knew that all of heaven is with you, backing you, moving with you, waiting for your command, waiting for your word, what would you say? Would you just say anything? You have specific needs. You have specific requirements that you want heaven to come and intervene in. But what if I told you that there are moments that are borrowed to us while we are here on the earth, where when we sit at those moments and we, we pause time, the window of time, and we sit at the table of communion, this, this is one of those moments, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. We have an opportunity to speak to those not yet born. We have the opportunity to draw healing from, from the place where it is in the future. We have the opportunity to draw resources from where they are. We have the opportunity to draw life from where it is, where it is held. If my healing is held somewhere and the enemy is resisting, I can stand or, or sit around this table of communion and, and lay down my life and repent. So right now in the name of Jesus, Father, as we sit at this table, we say yes, whatever the accuser has brought to this uh, uh, to you, to the court of heaven, we come and we agree. It is true. It is right. We have sinned and we want to come right now, Father, sincerely with all of our hearts. We want to agree with the accuser. This is what you say. Agree with your accuser speedily. So, Father, we want to say, yes, the accuser is right. And, Lord, in whatever accusation they have brought, yes, Lord, the sin in my bloodline, yes, 
the, the whatever the iniquity, Father. Yes, he is right. He is seeing correctly in the name of Jesus. Everything that is happening and everything that has taken place in my bloodline, the accuser is right. I'm in, we are in agreement. I am in agreement. But we do not stop there, Lord. We are aware of the finished work of the cross. We are aware that all these cases that the enemy is bringing to us have been dealt with at the cross. For in Colossians 2, 14, the Bible declares, we are speaking, Bazalwane, right now, into eternity. But the Bible declares that Jesus, through his own blood, he has blotted out the handwriting of ordinances that stood against us. Every case that was filed against us, every case that was presented, Everything that was presented, Lord, the Bible says, according to Colossians 2.14, that Jesus has blotted out every handwritten ordinance that stood against me, my family, the Tabashes, the Masegos, in the name of Jesus, the Hadebes, the Mkiles, in the name of Jesus, the Nkosis, everything was blotted out by the power of the blood of Jesus. Everything that stood in contrary to us, against us, Jesus took it out of the way. Jesus took it out of the way with his own cross. So, Father, we come and we stand at the cross. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we stand at the cross. We don't stand with our own righteousness. We have none. We don't stand with our own defenses. We don't have any. But right now, in the name of Jesus, we stand at the cross. We position ourselves at the cross. In the name of Jesus. And we know that through this cross, principalities and powers were spoiled. They were embarrassed. This is where principalities and powers were made a show, an open show. Because Jesus was triumphing over them. This is the moment we come into as we raise and we sit at this table of communion. We come back to this moment of Colossians 2, 14 and 15. We come back to this moment. Every time you raise these emblems, Every time you raise his body and you raise the blood, you are coming back to moments in eternity, moments that were recorded, that will forever be there. This is the evidence that we have. We do not have any other evidence. But what Jesus has done on the cross and we thank you, Father, this morning that we cannot add to this. We cannot take away from this. No iniquity can ever take away from what has been done on the cross. No sin, no wickedness, no generation can sin to a level where it takes away from what the cross has done, what has been completed. It has been done, it's done, it's tempted. Now, something amazing about eternity in us is that we can revisit those moments, replay those moments, re-experience the moment where Jesus overcame for us, we can come to this place, and say, Lord, and we look at our families and we say, Lord, this is my son. This is my daughter. This is my niece. This is my nephew. This is my brother, uncle, mother, father. Lord, I'm, I'm bringing them to this moment of the cross. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are first priests, Bazalwan. We are first priests before we are anything else. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, that as we come to this moment, we come to the moment of the first blood, first life, the source of all life. It says here in Colossians 1 from verse, verse 14, in him we have redemption through the blood, even the forgiveness of sin. It is settled in heaven. It is settled in heaven. We cannot undo or redo what has been settled in heaven. We can't outdo it. It's done. It's established. We can come into it and appropriate the power and the authority what has already been done. We cannot outdo this Bazalwan. The redemp redemptive power, we cannot outdo it. Yes, Babu Gabash. No amount of sin, no weight of wickedness can outweigh the power of the blood. So as we come into this place, Father, we thank you for the redemption by the blood of Jesus and through the blood of Jesus, even the forgiveness of sin in the name of Jesus. It says, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation? Do you realize that Jesus was, was there before all creation? He represented, he held within himself, within his life. He held everything that is now visible. Everything was in him. So that is why everything bows to him because everything recognizes the source of its life. For by him, were all things created, verse 16, that are in heaven and that are in the earth, invisible or visible, whether they are thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him in the name of Jesus. And he is before all things. And by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. That is all things he might have. That is in all things he might have the preeminence. For it, it pleased the Father that in him should all the fullness dwell. And having made peace, through the blood of the cross, by him to reconcile all things to himself. Uh, by him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, and you that were sometime alienated or aliens and enemies in your mind by the wicked works, yet now he has reconciled. This is what this woman kept on saying. In the dream, this, this is the table of reconciliation. Now I understand. Reconciling you to your destiny, reconciling you to your life, reconciling us to our heavenly image, reconciling heaven and earth, that things that are established in heaven may be made manifest on the earth. What legal right do they have to be made manifest on the earth? The legal right is that the blood of the cross is the work that was established to reconcile heaven and earth. That whatever is in heaven, let it be on the earth. Let it be done. Your will, let it be done on earth as it is in heaven, in the name of Jesus. So when we raise these emblems, Bazalwani, we, we are doing so many things. One, we are reminding all dominions and powers. We are reminding the principalities and rulers. We are reminding all thrones that this is where you come from. This is the original blood. 
you cannot do anything out of the boundaries that were set by the original life from which you have come in the name of Jesus. You are not allowed to do anything. You are not allowed to do anything in the name of Jesus. My power. I'm not sure why my power is not charging. So, Father, we thank you this morning for the original blood. We thank you for the original blood. In the name of Jesus, Father, we speak in our homes, Father. Whatever principality thinks owns us, no, we are not owned by you. Whatever throne has been established that has not been established by you, we dethrone it. We dethrone in our homes, in our cities and nations. We are raising the original blood from which all thrones, all dominions, all principalities and powers had come. Everything issued out of the blood. And we thank you, Father. We are the priesthood that has come to reinforce this. We are the priesthood that has come to execute the judgments. Anything, Father, that is out of the boundaries that you have set for it, whether it is sickness, disease, Father God, poverty, oppression, depression, anxiety, Anything that has overstayed its season, anything that is operating beyond the boundaries that were set for the purposes of God to be made complete in our lives and through our lives, Father, we bring it back into this place, the place of the blood, the place of the original existence of all things, anything that has overstayed its season, stagnation, delay, anything that has overstayed the season because God will use things to mature us into sonship. Anything that is now bringing us to a place of being wary, Father, we command it to come back into order, come back to the original blood. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we refuse anything. We refuse anything that does not bring us into a place of maturity, that does not bring us into a place of our complete, complete purpose. Thank you, Father, that you reconcile us this morning to your purposes, to your plan, to what you preordained for us. You bring our feet to the place where we are walking in the fullness of your purpose for us. Jesus Christ, we thank you. We are first priests before we are anything else. It is the priesthood that brings back the nation. It is the priesthood that brings the, the family back to the purposes of God. If the nation is, has gone astray or family has gone astray, it is the priesthood that must arise and handle these elements and kill, spill blood, shed blood. Now there's no need for us to shed blood anymore. We come to come to the completion of all things, we come to the cross. And we, as a priesthood of God, we arise every morning to bring into reconciliation destinies. We come in the name of Jesus. We come as your priests, Father God. We, yes, Mpume, we refuse anything that does not bring us into the maturity of of God's full plan for us. Because the enemy likes to waste our time. He wants to weary us. He wants to cause seasons to overstay their ordained period. 
He wants to weary us. He wants to change times according to Daniel 7. He changes times and seasons in order for the saints to be wearied. Father, we want to bring everything into order through the blood of Jesus. We want to bring everything into order. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for the cross of Jesus. Thank you for the cross, Father God. Father, help us to see and to discern things that have overstayed their ordained season. Anything that has overstayed their ordained season. Father, bring us into a place where we discern these things and we refuse to make a sickness. We refuse to make poverty. We refuse to make delay. We refuse to make anxiety, fear, depression, our home. We refuse these things. And we want to come into a place of purpose. We want to come into a place of our calling in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As we thank you for the blood, as we thank you for this moment where we have all of heaven with us, all of heaven with us, all of heaven with us. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the blood of the Lamb. Even as we break this bread, we thank you, Father, that Jesus was broken for us so that we may be made whole. Where sickness are, the sicknesses and diseases, he dealt with them. See, Jesus showed us the pattern when he was on earth. He did not coexist with sickness and diseases. He did not coexist with demons. This is what this is the pattern of Jesus, our high priest. And he says, when he left, greater works than this shall you do, because I go to my father. I go as, a, as your legal person. I go as your attorney who is who will be interceding for you. I am going as your advocate. As you pray on earth, I, I, am, I am establishing this in heaven for you. So greater works than these. So we thank you for the broken body of Jesus, that it is through his broken body that sicknesses were dealt with, diseases were dealt with. By his stripes we are healed. We are healed spirit, soul, and body. You have redeemed us holy spirit, soul, and body. There is nothing that has been left for the enemy to use, but all of me, spirit, soul, and body, my mind, my thoughts, my emotions have been redeemed. There is nothing that has been left for the enemy to use. No. The blood of Jesus has redeemed it all in the name of Jesus. And we come into the complete work of the cross. We come into a place of the bleeding of the blood of Jesus. Hebrews 12, 24 speaks about the blood of the lamb that is speaking better things than the blood of Abel. We thank you, Father, that this blood, the blood of Jesus that is speaking as we sit here on earth, we are connecting to the blood that is speaking. We are connecting to the blood that is pleading. We are connecting to the blood of Jesus that is speaking of better things than the blood or any other blood that can be shed on earth. It is overthrowing every altar. It is speaking better. It is overshadowing every other voice that may be speaking on any mountain, on any under the sea. It is speaking and overshadowing every blood that can be speaking 
over any altar right now with our names on it. It is overshadowing that voice in the name of Jesus. We thank you for these emblems. We thank you for this power. We thank you, Father, that we can administrate at this table and begin to benefit from the, from the covenant, eternal covenant with the living God, with the ancient of days, the one who is not held or bound by time. We thank you that this covenant bring, brings, it brings heaven right to us in the name of Jesus. What would you say if you knew that heaven was with you? What would you say right now? Just speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it. Father, I thank you for the soundness of mind. I thank you, Father, for the fullness of joy. I thank you, God, for healing. I thank you for breakthrough in finances, in careers. Father, I thank you for the alignment of this nation with your purposes. I thank you, Father, for aligning a generation. I thank you for the spirit of repentance that you are pouring out over our generation. Just speak the things that you are needing the Lord to intervene in because all of heaven is with you right now. As you sit with those emblems, all of heaven is with you. Heaven is with you. There is nothing missing. All of heaven's resources are with you. They just need a word to be released. Just need a word. Speak a word. Speak a word. In Jesus' name, our children are healed. Our children's destinies are not at the mercy of the demonic realm. But Father, I thank you that our children carry the light of God and they, they, they excel in the world. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Father, for the alignment of nations, Father. This nation, South Africa, we thank you, Lord, that you are aligning our nation to its calling, to its destiny. And Father, we are not in a panic. Even the things that are being revealed, Yes, they must be revealed they, because judgment, judgment must come. They must be revealed. The things that are shocking us must be revealed. We need to know them because judgment, judgment must come. So we thank you, Father, that you are bringing judgment to every altar that you have not established. Every altar, Father God, that does not speak the blood, where the blood of Jesus is not speaking. Father, you are bringing judgment to it in the name of Jesus. As you bring us into alignment as a nation to the prophetic destiny of our nation, we thank you, Father, that you are raising a priesthood that will keep the portals of heaven open so that the will of the Lord may be established on the earth in the name of Jesus, so that the kingdom of God may be established on the earth in the name of Jesus. And through this nation, we thank you, Father, that you will receive your full reward in the generation that you have called us to live in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We eat and we drink as we declare these things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Father. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We thank you, Father, that you have given us these emblems so that we can be reconciled with eternity. We can see what nobody else, see, nobody else sees. We can declare according to what we see. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Shalom, Bazalwane. May you have a good day. Please press the thumbs up button before you leave so that to give our stream some weight on this platform, just press the thumbs up button, like it. Have a blessed day. Shalom. See you tomorrow morning. There is something on the priesthood that I wanted to share. But when I had the dream, I was like, wow, I need to share this. And then obviously the Lord took us 
somewhere else where he wanted us to appropriate the blood, the power, the authority of the blood over our lives. Press the thumbs up. Thank you, Bazalwane. Shalom. You can always revisit the stream. Share with others. We need to gain some traction. We are only on 170 followers. We need about a thousand for more. What is it? The benefits on this platform. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, Jesus.